So last year I made a video talking a bit about the problem that I had with a row of Forma 400. Uh, basically what happened is that there was some sort of uh, static discharge on the, on the film and it was something pretty weird. So I took the film back to the seller who actually I got the film from. I explained to him what happened. He gave me a new row of film. Uh, and he suggested me to actually contact FOMA and let them know just in case there was some problem with the batch. So I did. I contacted FOMA. I explained to them what happened. They told me that it was the, the you know, the static uh, discharge that happened on the film. And they sent me uh, one row of film and a calendar. So on the video that you can watch it here, uh, I explained the whole situation in depth and uh, I also say that I was a little disappointed with the way that Forma uh, answer for with one row of film and the calendar which you know I, I felt that it could have been more not that I was complaining for what but I still believe that it could have been more but anyway that that's all irrelevant the interesting thing is that this video last year turned out to be one of the most watched videos in my channel and with that I got a lot of comments at the time I got a lot of comments of people trying to tell me what they thought it was the problem if they had similar problems or not and really trying to help and giving some uh, some light to the problem or what could have happened to me at that point because until I, I got the answer from FOMA I had no idea and uh, you know it was really nice from you guys to give me the, the the feedback and your experiences and if you had some uh, similar problem with uh, FOMA film before and with that a lot of people also uh, send pretty uh, you know uh, let's say hostile comments uh, saying that I was talking bad about FOMA, that I was being unfair, that this and that and the goal of the video has never been talk about anything bad about FOMA. As a matter of fact, this video is exactly to make it very clear that FOMA has nothing wrong with it. That was definitely an isolated problem and ever since I shot with that row of film uh, about 10 months ago, one year, something close to that, I have been shooting a lot with FOMA. Basically, FOMA has been my go film stock for the past, you know, year and a half because it's super affordable, it's cheap. I love the film. It's uh, especially the FOMA 100 has become my, my one of my favorite 100 ISO stock. I have been using that film a lot. As a matter of fact, uh, when I got my book roll last year, this is what I got for myself. Yeah, FOMA PAN 100. And the results that I have been getting with this film is absolutely amazing and I cannot complain and say anything bad about it. I have shot with this film with every thinkable uh, 35mm camera that you can think, SLRs, point and shoot, uh, uh, range finders, everything. I have shot with them all. And being here in Finland, I also had have the chance to test the film in every crazy situation. I have shot during the summer, I have shot on 
uh, rainy days, I have shot in the studio, indoors, I have shot at uh, frozen situations and frozen conditions, you know, snow and, you know, cold and everything as you guys can see it in here, and the film, it's absolutely amazing. I also have shot with it with medium format and you know, name it, I try this film with every situation and it's nice to see that uh, the problem that I had last year was an isolated situation as I mentioned because for some reason that I don't really understand that format tends to get quite a bad reputation all around a lot of people also uh, on the comments from the from the previous video they were saying not that they didn't have the same uh, sort of problem I had but that Foma had some other issues that they don't like the Foma because of this because of that and from the experience that I have so far this film has been absolutely incredible I have shot also on the with the 100 ISO I have shot with APX Agfa APX, I have shot with the uh, Kentimer 100 and always when I put them side to side I still tend to prefer the results that I get from the former. Maybe I got used to the results that I get to the feel of the film and I, I absolutely love this film stock. So to put the things uh, to settle no guys, I don't have a problem with Oma. Very contrary, it's one of my favorite film stocks. And it's still like, the good thing about Foma is still one of the cheapest films around. You're still finding Foma rolls around for, you know, six zeros or something around that, which is a great price for black and white photography, you know, you're gonna have the Agfa APXs, the Kentmares are around the same price as well. Maybe some Rolling eventually, and uh, but, but very few films are, you know, anything between let's say six and eight euros or, or dollars uh, that you can compare directly in terms of price and quality. Once again, I absolutely love the results I get from Foma. You can see on the on the pictures, on the samples and everything. It's an amazing film. I cannot recommend it more. It's but uh, my go for my go for. If I don't, you know, I can live only with the former, and I will be a happy person because it does deliver to me the kind of results and the kind of feel that I like from my film photography. So don't be afraid. Give it a try, watch it, my last video, remember that, and please keep in mind, that was an isolated problem, and I believe we are all over it now, and once again, don't be afraid to try Forma, it is an amazing stock, and the same way that I'm getting good results, I'm pretty sure you can get similar results with it as well. So if you like this video, please give the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, Switch on the notifications to get to know everything that is happening here on the channel all the time when it's happening. Also, leave your comments on the session below and uh, let's keep the conversation going. You know, once again, tell your experiences about FOMA or about uh, some other film stocks that you might have tried or not. Or, you know, let's keep the conversation going. And yeah, for the time being, Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!